You know, I thought of doing this awesome intro. Then I thought, you know what? Forget it. It's only Legoland. The drive's quite a lengthy one. It used to be Windsor Safari Park many years ago. As we're driving, on the left side is actually the hotel, which actually caught on fire the other week. I didn't have a chance to film it, but I did see a lot of scaffolding, so I was wondering what that was all about. The queue wasn't too bad. You have to really get here early, park early, and then you're okay. But I mean, the rush was building up slowly. When you go further down, just before going down the steps, you're treated to a fantastic view because Legoland is a bit higher up. You get to see Windsor Castle, Heathrow Airport, Terminal 5, and the London skyline. And it's just, it's just brilliant. Onto the land of Vikings and went on the main water ride, which is called Viking River Splash, which looked quite appealing, especially with the warm weather as well. But I was quite disappointed. I found the track was quite narrow and it wasn't wide enough, which meant all the boat did was spin and just kept constantly hitting the sides and it jerks your back. So if you've got backache, Definitely avoid this one. Rawr. Sorry. <laughs> awesome crocodile. Onto the Lego Ninjago ride. Thought it was quite fun. It was on rails and it's motion controlled, the way you shoot at different objects which are on the screens in front as you're going through. And it was quite good fun and the queues were quite short. Although my motion controls weren't working properly, which annoyed me a little bit because my point score was quite low. I should have kept my camera on this because literally those were the only instructions for the ride. And it was quite annoying because I didn't take a proper look at them. And everyone was just swishing their hands about during the ride. Dragon Ride, which is actually my favourite one here at Legoland Windsor, is actually closed today, which is really annoying. They do that sometimes with these rides. But yeah, you kind of have to deal with it. You can't really ask for a partial refund or anything. Moving on to Laser Raiders. Uh, this was actually really good fun. Just a typical on rails one where you literally shoot at targets with uh, the toy gun that they give you. And, and it's really good fun. Although my finger was hurting afterwards. I think I can just put that down to uh, getting old. <laughs> This is a great pirate show for the kids during lunchtime where they can sit down and watch. It wasn't bad, I found myself wanting to know if they caught the evil pirate or not. Oh, this ride, Flight of the Skyline. This was one of the best VR rides I've been on. They strap you in, you swing around and you face this huge dome, which is projecting this image, not a 3D one, just a normal 2D image. But it feels like you're actually in this world and you're flying around everywhere on this, on this creature's back. And it's just, it's brilliant. I've been on a few in Dubai and this one tops those easily. Be warned though, the queues are well over an hour for this one. Next one up is the Magical Forest. Now there was no queue for this. It was a walk through sort of thing. And it was, it was quite pleasant actually.
Oh, is that it for the magical forest? Okay, all right, that wasn't too bad. No queue for this one. <laughs> And we have the Lego Model City here. It's quite self-explanatory really. It's just many famous landmarks and cities recreated in Lego. And they've got a few sort of animatronics in the sense that they've got moving boats, cars, and it looks really awesome. But there's the one skyline I couldn't see and that was the Dubai one. So clearly they need to update that one. There's apparently a queue for the Lego store and I thought what queue and I started walking through the front door or at least up to the front door only to find that the door wasn't in use and the queue was actually around the side. As with all theme park stores they're overpriced. A lot of the Lego sets that I saw I could easily pick up at my local supermarket or off of Amazon but the interesting thing was they did obviously because it's an official Lego store they do have sets that normally the supermarkets or Amazon don't stock. So that was a good place to get those kind of sets but otherwise the rest of them were just overpriced and the store was so busy after a while after a few minutes i literally just had to come out Anyway, that was my trip to Legoland. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, especially if you watched this far. And until next time. <laughs>